Hi there, Doug from Unscript, and in this video we're going to walk through the different ways you can add an output to your runbook. So the idea is, um, with many runbooks you have input parameters. These are the variables that you have that you send into the runbook so that the different actions can run in different ways. Now, at the end of the runbook, maybe you need the output to be in JSON format so you can send it on to the next bit of process. And to do that, we have the um, concept of output parameters. And so the way you add an output parameters, you come up here to parameters, and in outputs, you can add an output parameter. So let's add two of them here. We're going to add, uh, these are basically the keys for the JSON, right? You'll have a key value pair for each thing in the JSON, so these are the keys. So let's do one that'll be IAM users, and this is going to be a list, so we'll call it an array, and list of all IAM users. You can add a default value if you'd like, um, but there, we've got that one, and I'm going to add two more, I'm going to add one, two more, let's do two more. Um, we're going to add a random number, and this will be, we'll call it, it'll be a number, and a And then the other one I want to add is user. And this is going to be a string. All right. So if you see here, the first action I have in this runbook is to list all of the IAM users. And you can see I've got it configured, and it's giving me a list of all of these users. So let's just set this up as an output. There are no inputs for this. You just give it your credentials, and it just gets all the users in your account. So for the output, let's call this IAM users. So that's going to name this variable IAM users, but we want to add it to the runbook output. And again, we'll do IAM users and apply that. So now what's going to happen is this is a variable that we can use in subsequent actions in our um, in our runbook. And now it's going to be in the output and it's going to be put into this IAM users, which we have right here, IAM users. So when this runbook runs, this data here will be placed in this as a key value pair uh, for use later. All right, and so now um, what I want to do is I'm going to uh, get a random user. And I have a little bit of code here. And so I'm going to import random, and I'm going to get a random number. Um, this should be IAM users. And change, I changed the variable since I did the sample code here. So we're going to get just uh, one of the values in the, uh, in the length of uh, the IAM users. And then what we'll do is we will just get a random user from that way, right? So this user will just be, we'll get that random number, and then we will pull that user out of the list. We'll print the random number, we'll print the user, and then we're going to set this to the W set output. And we're going to set the random number to random number and the random user to the user. And then those are our output va values that will appear here. So if we run this, we pick the random number 11, and that happens to be Doug test. Okay, so now those are now entered into our output parameters. So we've got the list here, we've got the random number, and then user is going to be Doug test. Um, the last thing I'm going to do for this runbook is I am going to um, just post to Slack into the Slack channel. Today's random user is user. So if I run this, and it'll send the Slack message too, right? Okay, so now this is all completed. I can save this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this. And if we come over here to the details, it's running. And when it's completed, we'll be able to come into the outputs here, and we will see the outputs of running this runbook. So we can see here that uh, it, it got the list. The random number was zero, and so it grabbed the first. You can actually see the first one in the list here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So... Now, if you run this runbook uh, via the API or any other way, you'll get a JSON response with IAM users, random number, and user, so that you can use that along later on in your flow. And so that's how you use outputs in a runbook. Thanks for watching.